praise great teachings all, all the time and uh, uh, breaking pins all the time. So we're really, really proud of you guys. Um, and, um, Deepak and Aruna, oh my goodness, I had tears in my eyes, you know, when we watched you guys today uh, to see your, to, to see how you got started and where you have come uh, and where, uh, where you're going. And I tell you, I am sure that uh, so many people can relate to you, to your story. You both are just uh, very, very powerful, uh, uh, great leaders. Um, and uh, we're just so, so proud of you for, for, for everything that has gone in your life. And um, you never lost that hope and the excitement, uh, you know, and uh, um, you're gonna bring so many, many, many leaders because of your story. Uh, and Sanjay and Saroj, oh my goodness. I wish you had talked a little bit more uh, today, you know, just uh, than just a few minutes that you shared, but love seeing you guys. Uh, thank goodness. Uh, You've been through so much, you know, um, in past few years. Uh, every time we heard uh, you talk from, talk from the stage, my goodness, uh, Raj and I, we were like, wow, what a powerful couple. And uh, thank goodness that God gave you the strength to go through that you went through uh, in your life. And because you know what, You're, you guys are just the biggest overcomer, biggest hope givers. And we, uh, we're so proud of you and your family. And uh, uh, Chuck and Uma, thank you guys for your incredible leadership all the time. Raj and I, can, we can always, always count on you for anything and everything. You are breaking pins, um, not just in India, but all over the country and all over the world. We can see that your thought process, your teachings is just um, absolutely phenomenal. Um, and uh, uh, Hope I don't, did not forget anyone. <laughs> all, all yeah, but anyway, uh, our story is just uh, being consistent, being steady all the time. We've been through so much. Also, like uh, what Chuck talked about, the three phases, you know, uh, but just come out of that, those three phases. There is a fourth phase there waiting for you uh, to show your example through your leadership, through your work ethic, through your giving. And uh, that's what we have done. You know, we uh, built the business uh, when we were newly married, <laughs> working full time, um, you know, um, and then, you know, just I had a big dreams of, um, well, small dreams. It started with small dreams <laughs> of making um, just uh, making just a couple of thousand dollars every uh, month so that that would give me a freedom to uh, start when we start family that would give me a freedom to stay home and raise the children. You know, uh, so today we are blessed with three wonderful children who are young adults starting their own life and they're in the business and they're excited about building their journey uh, with us to carry on the family legacy. But yeah, I just started with small dream. And, uh, you know, when we started hanging around with uh, our uplines and uh, uh, dreamers, our dreams grew and grew and grew. And uh, today, yeah, whatever pin we are, uh, that's not we are um, staying at because we have so many people that we want to impact through our example. And today we are just uh, uh, not because of triple diamond ship that we are thinking, hey, hey, we have learned. Uh, we're not going to continue to learn, uh, teach and grow because that's not the right thing to do. We're still uh, learning from uh, the bridge system. We're still learning from our uplines. We're still in communication with our uplines, and uh, that's 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 what leaders do, you know. And we went through uh, we went through so many phases in our life, you know. Um, we built the business um, with uh, small children. We uh, we built the business uh, being away from our uplines. We built the business not knowing uh, a lot of things. But when you have big dreams, you will figure out so many things. And I know, uh, especially in India, you are uh, so close-knitted with everybody around you, your family, your neighbors, the society. And one thing I can tell you is that uh, don't mind other people's business. <laughs> you know, focus on what you need to do. At the same time, you know, focus on 
others, right? That's, 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 that's the only way you're going to grow is focusing on others, but don't focus on what people are not doing. What don't focus on what your cross lines and are doing and what they're not doing Do what you need to do, you know, mind your own business while you're building the business, stay uh, away from all those distractions, you know, that's just, uh, keeping you uh, from building the business. Uh, that's one thing I can tell you. And, and look at the company, Amway Corporations, you know, celebrating more than 60 years and going stronger than ever before, right? We have the best products that company is putting out every single month. You know, every single month, they have a beautiful uh, cutting edge uh, products that that's gonna help you and your, and your family. You know, so uh, the, and the company always does it right. You know, the, the product, um, uh, uh, you know, quality checks at the same time, uh, traceability where another company has, you know. Um, so we're really, really proud to be associated with Amway and Brit Worldwide. Um, you know, uh, Uma talked about uh, the power of spoken word. And that's what we learned from Bill and Peggy. And I wanted to show you this book that I'm starting to reread it again and uh, have my highlighter, you know, and highlight and keep reading and making, make some notes. So this is a great book because you know what you, um, what to say when you talk to yourself, uh, you're gonna learn so many um, tricks about building this business, uh, the, the process and everything. But if you don't um, have the right programming about yourself, uh, you about your beliefs, uh, you know, I don't think you can go any, further than, than, than you want to. So make sure that, you know, uh, our, uh, uh, whatever your programming is that is helping, that is uh, not helping you to go where you wanna go, then you can change your programming, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, in the book, it says um, more than 75% of our old programming is helping, not helping us to get us where we want to go. I mean, means those programmings are not good. So we need to reprogram that mm -hmm. by having our self-talk, self-affirmation, you know, um, and uh, really believe, help us to believe that we are the best, we have the right opportunity and we have the best uplines, you know, and uh, you can overcome anything that you want, right? So I hope you um, uh, dust off your old um, dreams after this talk, Put on a, uh, your dreams all over, have your self-talk, believe in yourself, okay? Um, because when you think uh, uh, about what you're thinking, uh, you're, you are feeling those things you're, and um, you're acting on, on those things, okay? So make sure that the, those thoughts, your feelings and your actions are helping you to move forward where you wanna go. But, um, uh, we are very, very, very proud of you, Raj. Has so many things to share, but uh, stay consistent, stay steady, steady, no matter what. Uh, believe in yourself, and uh, you know my husband is the biggest giver, the biggest leader that I know of. Uh, last night he was up probably till twelve thirty midnight, uh, one o'clock in the morning, uh, talking to uh, leaders from across the world. Okay, but, uh, and he's just a great giver. And um, uh, we have so many, many people to reach out to and uh, help them to dream big and achieve their dreams and goals. And we wanna break many, many diamonds in India and we are get ready for this amazing fiscal year. And we tr truly, truly believe in you, um, but uh, uh, have your dreams all over. And uh, I'm so proud of my husband, uh, he's, more uh, enthusiastic, more giving, and more upbeat right now than ever before. So uh, please help me welcome my husband, my crown, Rasha. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sangeeta. Amazing. Wow. Phenomenal nuggets to share with you. Uh, a lot you. of wisdom, yeah. uh, you know, and a lot of knowledge. That's awesome. So uh, okay, yeah. let me get inside here. Yeah. Okay, good, guys. Very nice. And she all can hear me. Okay, so good. Uh, <clears throat> so it's a fantastic to see the journey we started from India in 1998 
uh, going from home to home and uh, from people terraces. I remember showing the plan and uh, uh, all those things with only four products and all the clinic products, uh, you know, and uh, being a professional, you know, how to talk about it, but think about it, that when your dream facts don't count. And uh, that's a prime example of that in 1998, where we were, and we knew that we have the best corporation, the best people, values and principle, and we grew every single year. Now we have a, a big manufacturing plant with a multi-million dollar worth of investment for MV in India. That's amazing. Now instead of four products, we have more than probably 400 products in India. Marketing plan is, is uh, when you look at 1998 marketing plan was a very primitive marketing plan versus now is much more rewarding with a core plus. So think about it where we are right now and where we're going is a very phenomenal. I'm very happy that you made a quality decision to be one of the finest corporations in the world where not only that you can bet your life, but your children can bet their life. Your family can bet their life. You feel very proud that, you know, that whom are you talking that you're not just talking to them that you make money or they make money. You're talking to them to build a legacy in the life, guys. And we are very excited about that, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, so today I want to talk to a couple of some important points. Of course, you heard the, simply the best of the best. And thank you, uh, Chuck and Uma, just finished before us, did an amazing uh, teaching about uh, developing their mindset. You know, so and Firdos was talking about, and Nick talked about, Sajid and uh, you know Sanjay and uh, Deepak and all. You know, talking about the mindset to be in the right side quadrant. It's all about the mindset thinking. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things, important points. <coughs> this business is all about is a people business. It's a business of um, building the team. It's a business of making the first circle work right. Um, is business of being the right example to people. For all those things, what is most important is our self-image. If we do not have good self-image, we cannot lead ourselves. In terms, we cannot lead others. We cannot build a team. We can't believe in people. We can't uplift people. We can't empower people. So it's very important that step number one, because many times people focus a lot more on techniques and mechanics. That's good. But you need to focus a lot more on self-image, means building up yourself. Just recently, I was reading something by uh, Sundar Pichai, the Google CEO, one of the topmost guy, very humble guy. And he said that people might wear a Armani suit or a nice, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> Ray-Ban sunglasses and nice uh, uh, Rolex watch and nice shoes, all those things is good. No, no question about that. But what you feel inside of you, do you see yourself as a multi-million dollar worth of man? That's very important. So how to do that? Of course, we should always dress well. We always groom well. That's something very important. No doubt about that. But uh, so how do we raise our self-image? That's very important. And self-image is something like I always give example that you cannot go to the supermarket and say, I want to buy a tablet of 1000 gram and I'll take that and my self-image will go up. <laughs> Doesn't happen, okay? It's, it's also like a, uh, managing your weight. <clears throat> it's not something that you just do one week and now man, I'm healthy. Self-image is a ongoing, continuous process, okay? So, so the way to do is that always whenever you get a chance, I give, sir, be a giver rather than a taker. You know, I bet you today, Vidyan Rama, Anand Pushpa and the team, uh, you know, on all this participant today, you felt great today because you know what? You went beyond the call of duty, like a Raksha, I mean, uh, and uh, Rakshit and Vaijant is sitting there from the last four hours, paying full attention. The serving attitude that makes you feel better. And that raises self-image, confidence, okay? Taking charge, you know, having a mentality of giving 100%. You 
you know, I, know I grew up in India and I, I'm very thankful <laughs> that the school system was uh, pretty strict. You know, I love that. <laughs> and they taught us to give 100%. If you don't do 100%, you know, we were punished, man. And I'm very thankful for that, okay? So giving 100%, that gives a sense of uh, accomplishment, sense of feeling good. I did my best. Whatever it is, it could be sweeping the floor. So what? Okay, all right. So 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 taking charge, giving hundred percent, and uh, uh, learn to dream big. You know the people having a good self image are the one who are big dreamer in the business. You know I know the Indian um, what do you call it the system, the culture. Uh, Jo hai usme sukh hai santi hai. Understand that. I'm not denying that. That, but, but you know what? You 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 want to be happy where you are, but you want to work toward accomplishing more in the life so that you can impact more people's life. It's not about greedy. Okay, it's about doing more in the life. Okay, there's no point in sitting in a one corner in a hut. With a with a one chair and one table, guys. Okay, goal should be do more in life. Dream. Okay, all right. Okay, <coughs> and uh, um, you know, I think Uma just talk about self talk. Speak positive about yourself, about your family, about your business, about your future. Stay away from negative reading. Negative internet. Many times, some people tell me, "Oh, did you heard about this guy posted this thing?" I say, "I had no idea. I'm a clueless guy. I, I'm a very ignorant guy, very clueless guy. Many of my top leaders would know about that. I have no idea. I file not found for me. And some of you guys in the morning, you start the latest world Google news. What's happening in the world?" As it was happened hundred years back, it happened thousand years back, but now you access of it. Don't worry about it. Put your mind, start with positive thing, end your day with positive. So stay away from negative news, uh, negative internet. Okay, if you're not pro, if you're not putting positive hundred, and you put like two hundred negative, what's going to happen? There is no effect of positive. So many of you guys might be putting the positive by listening, streaming, reading the book, but then you're putting a lot more negative by reading lots of WhatsApp messages and lots of news and lots of internet, guys. So stay away from that. That will hurt your self-image, guys, okay? All right, now, so your self-image can help you to build a big business and do that on every single day basis. <clears throat> Revisit your dreams, 2021, phenomenal year. I'm revisiting my dream, guys. You know, because every stage of the life, our dream changes. It was a time when I was growing up in India. One of my dream was to collect the highest number of marbles in my neighborhood. <laughs> it was my dream to have the highest number of flags from all around the world in my collection. And then the dream changes at, at different stages in the life. So our dream changes. So maybe we'll revisit your dream. What is most important to you that you're accomplishing 2021? And it boils down to, you know, Chuck referred me a book, and uh, I read the book like a, I'm doing my computer science again. And whenever I read a book, I do like that. I, I read with the atomic habits. Okay, I'm reading that. Uh, Chuck, I'm not finished yet. I'm still almost now 30% right now. Even after you, after watching you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I, I read it, and when I read, I read with the within my mind that how can I apply in my life, and how am I applying in my business? What changes I need to do? So when I read that, not just for the purpose of feeling good or talking to other people, but I wanna I wanna see what can I make change. I really like the talking about the habits, and uh, that really hit me so good. Before it was like all about the goals in my mind. Okay, if I set this goal, and so people say, okay, my goal is to, to, to reduce 20 pounds by in next th uh, th 60 days. So people work out, people work on their eating habits and all those things and oh, I'll reduce my uh, 30 pounds. But if you're not form a habit, 
on a regular basis, then you'll forget after two months and again, you go back to the same thing before. And they're talking about all different theories and I love it. So goal this year is develop us good habits. Particular day, like, you know, my massage lady tell me that I need to use a roller because she could see that, you know, a uh, couple of my muscles been stiff. And I say, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it, okay? And I forget, or I might do it one day, do not do it that day. But then I say, no, this is a time I'm gonna do it for this number of minutes. Now, when I put that thing that, you know, this is a time in my day, this is the uh, amount of time, then it made me to do that. Okay, so let's focus on how we develop some good habits in 2021 for the business, for a personal life, for a family life, for your finances. Then can help you to lead, go way far in your life, guys. Make a quality decision. Now I'd like to request Anand to, to share the slide. Okay, so I'd like to talk about that. Okay, so can I request Anand to, to share the slide? Wow, awesome, guys. Okay, you, you can put the whole slide together at one time, if possible, okay? <coughs> yeah, all right, good, very nice. So I wanna talk to you about something very important. Because our business is a very simple business, but sometimes it is a, uh, a misleading business too. Why? Because our recognition is based on the pin. Okay, so if you're 10,000 points, right in India, 10,000 points, you are called a silver drag in the business. Yes, you are six months, you are a platinum and then emerald and diamond and so on. It's good, but our purpose of building MBA business is to build a solid asset that allows you to long-term, you know, trouble-free, okay, worries-free, ongoing income and allows you to impact people's life. So it's, it's, it's pin sometimes is so misleading. I'm not building business for the pin uh, because pin just give recognition, but along with the pin on, I'll focus on few other variables that allow me to build a solid long-term profitable business. So for example, you know, that your pin volume, if you do the volume, you get a pin, that's good. And I highly recommend everybody all of you on this conference call, if you're really serious about building a big, big business, 100% product use, non-negotiable guys, okay? <clears throat> if you do that, that will help you to raise your self-image because, hey, I belong to the company I'm very proud of, okay? Second thing is that you know, focus on structure. It's a structure which yields a result. If you're 10,000 people with the two legs, you're not profitable guys, okay? So do not just focus on that, I want to go platinum. I wanna go platinum with at least Eagle Plus structure. Okay, I wanna go platinum, right? I wanna go, I wanna go Ruby, right? With double Eagle structure, okay? So you want to focus on structure along with building the volume because volume will give a recognition to you, but will not give a profitability to you. And then promoting the system. Now, see, you know, I tell you in India, a lot of people go after just after the volume and, and you know, changing the pin. I would, I tell you guys, if you're not work smart, you want to use the system, why? <clears throat> because the people in your organization could be at 9% and 12%. But if they not develop the mindset or to be an entrepreneur, tomorrow some situation will come. You know, the economy, you know, uh, products, uh, people, uh, health, finances, in your life, in your organization, situation will come. How you tackle the situation, what is your mindset at the time? that gonna determine the strength of organization. And that's why the system to use continuous business streaming, read a book, <coughs> go to the association. So how do you do that? You use it and you promote it, you talk about it. You don't just talk to people just about the volume. You talk about the book you're reading. You're talking about streaming, you're listening and what you learn from that. 
Okay, that's going to determine the strength of the organization. Because what are you going to do? Because any entrepreneurship challenges the part of the entrepreneurship. You know, okay, I study so many big leaders in the business and I see them. The reason they become big is not that they know how to do the product demonstration. Yeah, they do, they do know about how to product, but they know how to handle the situations when it comes in the, in the organization. Okay, that's why you want to promote, use a system, promote a system that helps the people to develop the mindset. <coughs> Next thing is the relationship. It's all about relationship, relationship, relationship. And, um, you know, uh, it, the proverb says, I believe, uh, says, uh, I don't know how to say, in a, uh, the, you know, the broken glass, if the glass if it is broken, doesn't matter what kind of glue you use to put it together, but the glass will still not look the same, the original glass when it's broken. So relationship is like that. Okay, so you want to be very mindful why? Because our business is different than corporate America. In corporate America, if you and your boss don't like, okay, and say, hey, man, you know what? I, I switched the department, I quit my job. Go to another company. Mm -hmm. In a conventional business, same thing. Okay. <clears throat> in this business, our business is a lifetime relationship. Not only that, in our business, the only person going to come and help you is your offline. Okay. Only person will contribute to your success. You can never become successful in business by yourself. At the most, you can go ruby direct in the business period. But to go emerald, diamond and beyond, you need people with you. People who are believing in you, part of your dream. And that's why it's very important to have the good relationship with your upline, with your downline. How to do that? Is that be a long-term thinker. Long-term thinker, guys. How to do that? Find good in your upline. Don't look up perfection. Find good in your downline. Think about it where you were. <clears throat> How to do that? I always see my, my team as my family. Yeah, do my children sometimes get upset? Oh yeah, do my wife get upset? Yes. Do I get upset? Yes. Do I still love them after one hour? Yes. Same thing with my downline. That could be sometime a thing they might text you, might say you something you don't like. But I say, you know, if my son, my daughter do that, am I going to say, you're no longer my daughter, or no longer my son, or you're no longer my wife? Or you're no longer my mom or dad? I do that. Same thing. So, so, so find good long-term thinking, develop the sense and understanding of forgiveness. Okay, because relationship is very important. You know, you know, I have great, all my, I focus on, of course, I cannot control others. I can only control myself, but I always make sure that I'm in control. The way you lose your relationship is that you get remote control to somebody else. Remote control means, you know, if somebody says something to you and you react, I'm gonna talk about it more later on, then you lose the relationship. I said, come and compose. Okay, because I know that I'm a long-term thinker. I know that I'm business for the life. I know that the only way I am gonna be more successful is that I work, I work around to understand them and everybody's different. See, that's where the self-image comes. <clears throat> that how you learn to work differently with different different group of people. I, I have got with different age group, profession, nationality, religious belief. I have a guy in my team who, who is a crown direct in India, Mr. and Mrs. Dr. Braj. They, they have Sikh religion, Sajda Intazar, and Muslim religion, Czech and Uma, and their upline Hindu religion. I have Firdos, Parsi, uh, we have a uh, Christian, uh, Fagan Kerry, we have a Buddhist, we have all different kinds of uh, race people. Now, how you the, 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 the way to develop relationship is that learn to respect people. 
irrespective of our differences. We can have differences. You know? Okay, but learn to respect them, learn to find good in them, learn to um, empower them. And the be best way to develop a good relationship is, how could I help you? How could I help you to accomplish your dreams? So if you just focus not just on the volume, but volume with a structure, with the promoting the system and the relationship, that is going to lead into a very solid long-term profitable business. You will be ahead in the race than many of the people who just had a pin, who did not pay attention to all these variables, guys. You will have much a peaceful lifestyle than many others who do not understand this four important art. I was asked to talk about this topic in one of the Emerald Diamond Club. I remember that. And I talk about this and I still remember that I said, man, you know, this is how you create the mass. This is how you create the mass in the organization. You know, doesn't matter where you are. You can build a business all around the world, guys. We have amazing momentum happening in business. United States and Canada, India, Australia, super momentum in Australia happening right now. You know, we are breaking a couple of Q12 and Emerald direct this year and diamond in Australia. The okay, same thing in United Kingdom, super momentum happening. <clears throat> How you do that? Keep the good relations everybody. Never say anybody, I don't like you, I don't respect you, I don't need you. Who are you? To me, 100 people is as important as somebody's diamond in my business. Okay, so relations are very important. Okay, all right. Thank you, uh, Anand, uh, for sharing that slide. I appreciate that. Okay, and I hope you all understand, learn a lot. Let me talk to you now about something uh, <clears throat> and done in about a few minutes is a, uh, you know, how to uh, handle the uh, life and situation, especially in pandemic situation right now we are in, that uh, we all are home and Zoom and, uh, uh, you know, can't go out much, uh, travel and restaurants and all those things. <clears throat> so, uh, very famous story by uh, Sundar Pichai. I, love, I like that guy. Okay, very humble. And, uh, you know, the cockroach theory, you might have heard about that. So let me talk about that. It's a theory of cockroach theory, you know, react versus respond. And if you all understand that, we all need a reminder that, that could completely change um, our day, our week, our life, our relationship, and a lot of things. So the theory is like this. So one time at the restaurant, you know, the lady was sitting with a bunch of other people and suddenly the cockroach, you know, flew and sit on that lady. And now this lady got really fearful about it and panic about it and started a little bit screaming about it. <coughs> but doing that, you know, and she putting a hand this and that. So suddenly the, the cockroach, you know, jumped from her and happened to sit on other lady. And same thing, the other lady also got very panicked, very fearful, started screaming, and that just drama just go on to a few other people. The waiter at the restaurant, you know, see that that some panic going on in this group. So he suddenly came there, you know, to, to figure out what's happening. So he swear at this cockroach that uh, all these people are be fearful, afraid, and be panic about it. So he stood very you know, gently there. And uh, suddenly, you know, happened to be that uh, cockroach flew from the other person to the waiter's shoulder. Now, waiter stood there quietly, confidently, relaxedly, and observed how the cockroach was reacting. And by the time cockroach settled down, then very, very nicely, smoothly, he went near the window and just strike at the cockroach and cockroach flew out of the restaurant. Now, what is the story here? Is the cockroach was uh, trouble, created all this chaos and run, jumping up and down? It's not the cockroach. If it's the cockroach, then 
the lady and all of the people jump up and down the waiter would have been also jump and jump up and down and be fearful too but he did not so it's not a cockroach is us means people who re- some pe- some people reacted to the cockroach and this waiter responded to the cockroach same thing the life that when somebody shout at you you get stuck in the traffic or something doesn't happen the way it's supposed to happen because i want it this way <coughs> it happens at the time you could panic and you react to that person same way the person reacted you right the waiter would have done the same drama like other people did and then what happened you know that if somebody uh, horn on the on the on the on the road and everybody start man panicking okay or something change happened in the business and everybody got jump up and down you just stay quiet compose okay so respond means you be well thought of and react means you are thoughtless and just reacting and if you apply this in our personal life in our family life in a business always think about it i want to respond the guy who respond is a winner a guy who respond is a winner a guy who is react lose the game and that is called giving a re- remote control to somebody else if you give remote control to somebody else i can say something you know if i make you panic to you means i give remote control to you that you make me panic it could be anything right okay so react versus respond to build a big organization guys to have a good relationship to be a long term profitable business i am very excited about this leadership guys i'm sure you all learn a lot i know you all going to get busy i always tell people this is a very simple business how you treat it if you treat the business as a hobby the reward is a hobby if you treat a business as a multi million dollar worth of business rewards like multi million dollar it's not when you get started is when you make a decision to move on in the business is when the what is making decision when business goes from head to your heart so i hope this leadership meeting help you it's not how many hours you listen the function the tips what you collect make the points and make that habit to make change i tell him very extra about india uh, next trip is abu dhabi coming up because this year is supposed to go but next year abu dhabi and i love the india cool places last year i i missed that um, uh, places they took to turkey you know i missed that you know uh, and uh, i should have gone there uh, but uh, but i want to go next time so i people ask me many times how do you spend time with the upland leaders guys work hard you qualify for the trip and we will spend a whole week with you you know all these diamonds you spend time with them in hawaii and the peter island and the chuas trip and what not that's what we want to do you know we want to spend time with you okay and all paid trip by corporations so and nobody has to worry about anything isn't it great and amber takes you to amazing trips guys i love the amber trip last year there was a singer they brought at turkey and i said my god you know i wish i could go to all india trip and not united states trip now because you guys are amazing food amazing company they bring the amazing singers and the performances i said this is incredible so i want all of you guys to to work out so to qualify so we could all have a lot more fun together and have a great life together so we love you all again i'm very proud each and every one of you last mic 2021 as a most banner in your life thank you all thanks to our dear upline uh, triple diamonds mosi members rajin sangeeta shah 